this movie is sort of about the moment where journalism and tabloid journalism sort of blended together and became one and uh, the idea that like the American people would be interested in the personal life and or faults of a president, not just his policies. Um, it really does sort of get down and precise and like there is a moment where that happens and that's sort of what this story is about and I, I love that. When I found out that Hugh Jackman was playing Gary Hart, I was um, just uh, awestruck and beside myself with excitement because I'm such a huge fan of him, um, as I'm sure everyone who you've interviewed today has admitted to being. Um, it's kind of hard not to be He's such a tremendous talent and just like all around um, great guy, which is the other thing too, is that you never, you, you know, I've been lucky enough to work with some of my heroes over the years and you, you do sometimes, maybe a lot of the time, end up disappointed when you meet them. They, you hold them in such a high regard and then you just meet them and they're just humans and they have issues like the rest of us. Hugh, does, that doesn't apply to Hugh. He's, he's like an alien that um, can do anything better than every one of us and uh, does so while somehow maintaining like this humble attitude and he loves and respects all of us and like holds us dear. It, like he makes us feel like we're his best friends or like we really matter to him and maybe we do, but even if we don't, God, he's so good at making us believe that we do. Jason Reitman uh, has sort of ruined any director after this film for me. Like the um, the bar has been set so high because um, he is so on your team and there for you, there to protect you. You feel that at all times. It's palpable, um, and he's also he can be a pretty quiet director. Um, which I think a lot of actors, just by breed, sort of need validation, uh, and I certainly fall victim to that sometimes. And when I got here, it took it took took about a week to figure out that if he's silent, that means you nailed it. Um, <laughs> that because uh, he's not going to settle for anything less than exactly what he set out to get or better. Um, and so you know he'll adjust you. Even then, though, the the way in which he comes in to adjust you is pretty gentle um, and precise um, and always elevates your performance. I don't, I'm not the type to mince words, but I mean that. He, um, he's made me better every time he's stepped into the, to the ring to, to adjust me. Um, me and or the narrative itself. Um, you can tell that he already knows the movie he's trying to make, already has those puzzle pieces laid out and that, you know, we're coloring it in for him and then he's putting it all together in his head as he goes. Um, it's really beautiful kind of watching that happen and being a part of it. And then it, it also like just further enables you to fully trust him and any adjustment that he gives you. Um, not that the adjustments he gives are like off the wall or anything, they all make sense, but I trust him more than I've ever trusted a director. I hope that they get up and go, that was a, that was a hell of a movie, because it is. Um, and it's different from a lot of movies that I think that are coming out right now. I think that that's important too. And again, I think that that's brave of Jason. Um, but I, I guess I hope that they, you know, specifically to the subject matter involved, I hope that they maybe re-examine the way that we look at politics or politicians or how we, how we base our vote or our judgment or, or all of those things. Because at the end of the day, this, I'm not saying that this story leans one way or the other on whether or not he was guilty or should have been president or anything like that. But what is interesting is that, God, he was a hell of a candidate.